Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. On a Sunday, coming at you with 2022 Topps Chrome Baseball Jumbo Edition. Eight box, pick your team number 12, and a silver pack per box. That's where, the, uh, that's where those short prints are hiding. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We'll do those at the end of the break. Put those next to our pumpkins here. Maybe our lucky one of onekins, perhaps, could, uh, could appear. So here on Sunday the 16th, Pier Team 12. Thanks, everybody, for making this happen. Appreciate it. Now, if you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won those spots in that filler pack we did, the pristine pack. And Jeremy, you ended up with last spot mojo right there. Giants. And we've got another jumbo case loaded up as well. Now today is a sad day <laughs> because uh, because my Dodgers got bounced in the playoffs. Sorry, Harry. What Harry just said had said done in the chat. I don't know what that means. Oh, maybe you done. You were uh, voting in the poll. Oh, now the tie is broken in the poll. Vote in our Sunday at football poll. But Dodgers got bounced by the by the Padres in their fourth game in San Diego. Terry was uh, asking earlier, man, what happened? You know, so yeah. I think, uh, I think a few things happened. I think the the Dodgers got not got a little uh, didn't really face a lot of adversity during the season, so I don't know if they were really in in playoff mode by the time they they got there. I mean, they had the division wrapped up really early. They pretty much cruised during the regular season. Well, it's not easy to win 110, 111 some odd games. Um, you know, you win that comfortably, then suddenly when you're facing high pressure situations, I think sometimes that, that, that affects it. The bottom of the order, the bottom of the order hasn't really been producing all year long, and that kind of, that kind of showed in the playoffs as well. Look at the Padres' bottom of the order. It's not like Machado and Juan Soto were doing fine, but it's not like they were the, you know, it's, they had some key hits, but it's not like they were just destroying the Dodgers. Look at the Dodgers' top of the lineup. You kind of need like some energy, guys. In years past, guys like Kike Hernandez or Jock Peterson that would that would help. But I think if anything, I think the Dodgers maybe got a little overconfident. They were like, "Oh, we don't need to do anything at the deadline." Walker Bueller down? No, we don't need to get Luis Castillo. Craig Kimbrell, you know, not not being Craig Kimbrell, no worries. We don't. We can just let the Padres go get Josh Hader. So I think there was a little bit of a uh, little bit of that. Hey, it, Randall, what's up? Is the three SP baseball hobby box filler, or is there more? Randall, usually when we get down to our last filler, we'll write last filler in the title. Almost always we'll write last fill in the title, so you know it's the last one. If it doesn't say that, you can assume that there are multiple. That there are multiple remaining. If anything, I don't know if that five-day layoff really hurt them. It shouldn't have. There's Drew Ellis to 399. That guy's been doing pretty well. Um, I don't think so, but I know the Dodgers have a lot to think about in the off season. You know, this guy, Red Sox fans have told me in the past. You know, Mookie sometimes goes a little quiet in the playoffs. This is for Jason and the Diamondbacks. I think they kind of need like a. I think they kind of need like a. Here's our first autograph, Greg Diegman. I think they got to kind of find some energy, guys. They need like a Kirk Gibson type, you know? 
It's 131 out of 199. I don't think, uh, and that's for the Cubs. That's for Ellie. And I want to say, I don't know if Dave, Dave Roberts didn't do t- tactically, I think did fine this offseason. You can't really blame him like you could in maybe previous years. But th- at the same time, maybe there needs to be a different voice in that locker room. Maybe not immediately, but maybe there needs to be a different voice in the locker room that, uh, I don't know, that might, that might be able to, I don't know, like imagine if there was like a, the baseball equivalent of a Mike Tomlin on the Raiders, or on the Raiders, on the Raiders would not be bad, but on the Dodgers, like a baseball manager equivalent of Mike Tomlin, someone who's able to kind of kind of take like a slumping team and wake them up. And I think needs, there needs to be something like that. I don't know, the roster really doesn't need an overhaul. I don't think that's really the issue. It's like those glue guys, you know, where's like a, where's, where's your, I don't know, where's your Harrison Barnes, I guess, if you're the, if you're the Warriors, right? And there's Tyler Gilbert. Jason with the Diamondbacks. So, yeah, I think that's kind of what you need. The, overall, the team is fine, obviously. They won 111 games, but but they got to also have some playoff mentality guys that are on there, and maybe, maybe guys like Mookie or Trey Turner or Freddie Freeman are a little too, a little too, not passive, but, you know, they're not like, you know, they're not like rah rah guys. Sometimes you need sometimes you need a little bit of that. Maybe maybe call some of the youngsters up. I know I know Miguel Miguel Vargas is a is a pretty outspoken dude. He's a lot of fun. People like him in the clubhouse. Maybe they need a little bit more of that. There's Jared Walsh to two ninety nine. Do you think uh do you think the Dodgers go after Juan Soto at the end of the year? Jason thinks they could? I mean, the Dodgers will, will always be, this goes to the Angels, Mike. Dodgers will always be involved in conversations with any big free agent name. I, think, I suppose it depends on whether, yeah, I don't think Belly's going to be, be with the Dodgers anymore. I don't think he's going to win. He might go to, he'll probably go to the Diamondbacks. That's actually not a bad fit. But uh, I, don't think it's, I don't think there's going to be MVPs in that, in that bat. Dodgers are a pretty well-coached team. There's Romy Gonzalez for the most part. And if they couldn't convince him to change his stance or make some adjustments, I don't think he's going to do that in Arizona and suddenly recover his MVP form. There's Romy Gonzalez for Steven and the White Sox. If the Dodgers don't sign Trey Turner... There's a lot of money coming off the books, believe it or not, for the Dodgers. So I could see them making a move for, for Juan Soto. But if you're the Padres, if they continue to have success in the playoffs, you know, I mean, they're, they're going to, Juan Soto is most likely not going to leave that team. And that Padres team is going to give him a massive extension so he doesn't, so they don't even let him touch free agency. That'd be the smart thing to do. There's Sammy Long, purple chrome for the Giants. That'll be for Jeremy, last spot mojo. Right, exactly, Gio. That's what happened when the Royals uh, uh, went to the World Series in 2014. They credit a lot of leadership between James Shield, Raul Banez. Yeah, guys like that. You know, maybe not Hall of Famers, maybe not superstars, but you need guys like that. There's Kiebert Ruiz, 10 out of 250. A rumor today that the Cubs could be interested in Jose Abreu? That would be a very Cubsy sort of move. Let's get, a, let's get an aging slugger, pay him a ton of money. I'm sure he has a, I'm sure he has a few good years left, but... I don't know, that's not really the move to be making. Like, you may as well just wait until this guy's a free agent and try to sign him. Why are you wasting money on Jose Abreu? 
I mean, the, the formula for success seems to be pretty obvious. You know, piece together a bunch of youngsters, a core of youngsters. Look at how the look at how the Astros did it. Wait, did I pass an auto? Two, three, four. I know all cards ship. If I miss anything, it'll it'll get sent out. Oh yeah. Oh, can't forget about Jake Cousins. That would be what a, what a loss that would have been. Brewers, Nestor. Rookie auto, Jake Cousins. Thanks, Kevin. Good eye. Good eye. All right, next one. But the formula is is like you 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 piece together a bunch of youngsters the way the Braves did, the way the Astros did. Or take that farm system and turn it into you know to youngish superstar type players. Kind of Padres did that with getting Juan Soto. Other Dodgers have done that as well. So I mean, if the Cubs' strategy is to get Jose Abreu, that seems silly. Also, Rex, who's got a? You've got to watch out where you're getting these rumors, especially this time of year. If it's just some random guy on Twitter or someone in a Facebook group or something like that. I mean, you can't really put a lot of stock in that. Well, if Jake Cousins turns out to be a perennial all-star, Rex, then, then you can point back to this video and, uh, and be like, Joe is dead wrong here. <laughs> well, I think Freddie Freeman brings leadership, Terry. But he's like lead by example guy, you know? He's not too much of a a fiery rah-rah guy than in the way you know some other players can be. That's right, Gilo. Yeah, sometimes you got a question. You read about the Cubs of Bray on MLBTradeRumors.com. That's a good source, Rex, because sometimes your sources are questionable, which is why we got a why we got a fact check, Rex. There's Mitch Haniger, Mariners, Nico. Okay, sometimes Rex's sources can be questionable. You gotta. We are right to question it. We are right to question it. Otherwise, you're learning, Rex. Good. That's what I like to hear. You gotta be always be learning. ABL, always be learning. Otherwise, there's way too many like, you know, fan speculations and rumors and Reddit threads and and Twitter in the nose and all that stuff. These it ends up wasting your time. There's a Kevin Smith purple speckle autograph. Yeah, sometimes these are kind of hard to see. Chilo's mentioning. This will be for the Blue Jays, Jason. That's 243 out of 299. And the non-auto pink speckle, or magenta speckle, is to 350. That's for Garrett Cole and the Yankees. Michael with the Yankees. Yankees up 3 nothing. Garrett Cole on the mound. 39 pitches through 3. There's Hans Kraus for the fight and fills. Fighting their way into the ALCS. Or NLCS, that is. It would be a hell of a fight if they ended up in the ALCS. Um, Ryan with the Phillies. 
Phillies Padres. Who does everyone have in that series? These Wander Francas will go to Mark L and the Rays. Won the Rays in that uh, in that filler. You'll lose faith in sports when Elon decides to buy a franchise? Well, thankfully, or maybe not thankfully, I don't know. I don't know if the owners are going to do that. Remember, they this is a... Um, professional sports are, uh, are private clubs, basically. You can't just buy your way into it. You can't just uh, put, you know, as much as Bezos would love to, it's not like you can just put the Phoenix Suns in your cart, your Amazon cart, and just check out. They got, they got to vote. The ownership has to vote those guys in. So that's why, like, you know, because if Bezos or Musk joins any of these professional leagues, they will instantly become the biggest, uh, you know, the biggest, uh, the most, uh, the wealthiest guys in the room there. There's Nick Lodolo for the Reds. I don't think those guys are voting those guys in. Seventy out of four ninety nine Reds. Mark with the Reds bought that team straight up. There's Luis Robert. Eight out of fifty Gold Wave. He's gonna. Elon's gonna run for office. I don't think he has the patience for that. Or the patience to be locked into that singular job for whatever the term is. There's too many rules. I don't think I don't think he likes that either. Well, Harry obviously is a Phillies fan. There's Riley Adams for TJ and the Nats. Um, Terry thinks Terry thinks uh, Padres. They got better pitching. They got better relief pitching. I think that's for sure. So they might have slightly better starting pitching. I don't know. I think it's going to be a good series. Two scrappy teams scrapping it out. And we'll do an autograph recap at the end of the video. All right, next box. Watch Bezos figure it out where you can buy professional teams on Amazon. What would the fee be for sellers? That'd be a hell of a fee. Gilo can't stand Bryce Harper. Can't wait for Harper to face Snell. Rexing's Phillies have been tough as of late. Padres tend to fall apart more easily. Except against the Dodgers. Harry is thinking maybe a little payback for uh, for Snell breaking Harper's hand. Hoskins is really underrated, Terry is saying. Harper and Snell are real life friends, says Terry. Yeah. That still doesn't mean that Harper wants to, you know, go four, four for four with three home runs off of him. I mean, I don't think he's going to fight him or anything like that, but definitely think he'd be happy to... to hit a cycle off of him or something. We'll have a poll loaded up on that on the uh, on the day of game one. Speaking of polls, we got about 30 minutes left in our uh, our Sunday night football poll. Who wins, Cowboys or Eagles? 
against the spread. I don't think that has that game started. It's, I think it maybe starts towards the bottom of the hour, maybe in about ten minutes. Actually, we're at the five oh six, maybe five fifteen West Coast time. Some green, we got some green Albert Pujols. Dodgers edition, 96 out of 99. What an epic season for him. That'll go to the Dodgers edition. It's gonna to go to Jorge with that one. I should watch the John Boy breakdown. I don't. I don't mind Bryce. I don't know. Understand the hate for Bryce Harper. I don't mind him. Here is a Luis Frias for Jason W. and the Diamondbacks. Jumbo boxes. Sometimes these cards can get stuck together. Thankfully, I don't think any any autos get get their cards stuck together. Man, this guy during the playoffs has suddenly turned into Reggie Jackson. This is Robbie Grossman. Photo negative, parallel for Detroit, that'll be for Harry. There's Mitch Hanniger for the Mariners, that'll be for Nico. Yeah, exactly, Terry. In fact, I mean, maybe that's something that the Dodgers, some, that's something that the Dodgers need, a little bit of that, that fire. Dodgers are a little too chill. We need like uh, we need a little more of we need a little more villain quality <laughs> on the Dodgers. I mean, Dodgers are villains just because they've got such a huge payroll, and you know they're on they're on a. You know, they're on TV a lot, and they're getting they're getting superstars. But I mean, no one really hates like Trey Turner, right? He's just kind of a bland personality, you know. People don't really hate Mookie Betts or anything like. They might hate him just because he's on the Dodgers, but as a person, you know, there's this Giants fan might might hate Max Muncy or something like that. But there's Greg Deepman, but I don't know. Don Dodgers maybe need more of a villain quality to them, I guess, just to just to change things up a little bit. There's Ellie and the Cubs with uh, Greg Deepman, 119 out of 499. Yeah, that's right, Jeff Mayo. The Padres 789 killed us all series, and the Dodgers 789 killed the Dodgers too. So it was the tale of the 789s. I think the starters, both starters, did great jobs kind of neutralizing the tops of the lineups. But it's the, it was the difference between the 7-8-9s, between the Dodgers and Padres. Padres 7-8-9s produced, the Dodgers 7-8-9s did not. There's Tyler Stevenson. Aqua Wave to 199. That'll be for the Reds. Mark L for that one. Oh, and that's an autograph. That's Hoy Park. Pittsburgh. Michael L with the Pirates.
Yeah, I don't think Belly is going to be offered arbitration. I think. Yeah, I don't think Gallo is ever going to be a Dodger next year as well. Chris Taylor, I think, has one more year on his deal, but maybe he gets traded. I think there's sort of a sort of a soft reboot that the Dodgers maybe have to do. And there's AJ Alexi for the Rangers. Russell with the Rangers. You know, I wonder if it's if it's time to start you know, shoring up the top of the rotation, especially since Walker Buell will be out. Maybe go after Carlos Radon. Guys like that. I mean, Dodgers have a lot of prospects coming up. Maybe it's time for some young, hungry kids to start coming up the ranks. Maybe the priority isn't to re-sign Trey Turner. I was talking about that a little bit earlier, Jeff. Does Roberts get clear? Um, I don't know. If he does, I don't think it'll be because of anything he did tactically wrong. But I think it might be one of those things where I didn't really, I mean, he, time has flown by. Dave Roberts has been here almost seven years, eight years, almost a decade. So maybe this is just a case of, hey, maybe, maybe like a different voice could help. You know, maybe a different voice, a different managerial energy could help kind of shade, shake things up because I'm, Dodgers really can't do the same thing they did they, they did this season. So... Can't have Rodon, let some other teams have good pitching. But he's a free agent. Dodgers, Dodgers, what what are the Dodgers pitching outside of Julio Urias? Clayton Kershaw might be around next year. So really no Walker Bueller, it's Julio Urias, and then Tony Gonsolin, Tyler Anderson if they re-sign him. Andrew Heaney. Dustin May, who's still somewhat unproven. Kershaw might might go to the Rangers in the offseason. He's a, he's a free agent. So So the pitching is something that the Dodgers need to address. Luke Voigt for the Yankees purple chrome autograph for Michael. 15 out of 250. The Dodgers need a Jason Hayward. Yeah, I don't think I don't think the Dodgers are going to go after Jason Hayward. Although I could see the Dodgers getting a Jason Hayward for for the veteran minimum. And then turn him into an all-star as a reclamation project. Not for not for current Jason Hayward prices though. There's Chris Sale for Bill and the Red Sox. There's a Patrick Mazika for the Mets. That's going to be for Nestor and the Metropolitans. God, 
Jeff Mayo saying call Gary Sheffield back. He can probably hit better than a than Belly. Well, you know what? Dodgers have a good farm system. You know, yeah. you know maybe maybe the Miguel Vargas era has to start next year. Even James, I don't know why. Why might as well play James Outman. No, I like Trace Turner, but he can't be he can't be starting playoff games. Might as well get some some, some hungry youngster a shot at this point. Yeah, I don't think I think Bellinger has one more year of arbitration. I don't think he's going to be offered. I think the Dodgers are just going to let him walk. There's Jordan Alvarez, 233 out of 299. He's raking. There's Nate Pearson for the Blue Jays. They've got to retool a little bit too. Jason and the Blue Jays. They should have fielded another good team next year to 25. Altman is 25. He's get, Yeah, he is getting up there for a rookie. That would, that would make him a little hungrier though, right? Toiling in the minors for this long. Astros, Joe Christian with the Strohs. Jeff, haven't done group breaks with only personals. How do you get in these? Are they on the website? They are. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. It's right here. I think it's in the title of our stream. Should be in the title of our video. There's Jansen Junk. That's Mike, the Angels. Oh, wow. Who hit that homer? Is that Josh Naylor? With a solo shot? 3-2. Yankees. Guardians cutting the deficit to one run. And there's our fifth autograph. That's Jesse Winker, blue chrome auto for the red legs. That's going to go to Mark, Mark L. Sixty-four out of one hundred and fifty. Gilo, you think Guardians going to go to the CS? We are halfway through this uh, full case break. I think we're on good good track here. Usually these are about an hour long breaks. We're about 30 minutes in, about another 30 minutes to go. Yeah, Cleveland definitely a scrappy team. Pretty underrated, I think. I don't know if a lot of uh, attention was placed on a... Not a lot of attention placed on the AL Central this year. And Cleveland was kind of middle of the pack for a good chunk of the season. Then they they started quietly stringing together wins, and I think White Sox and Twins kind of faded a little bit, and they took took care of that division. Maybe go to the World Series too, says Gilo.
Well, currently, as of I don't know, as of what day this is, but according to VegasInsider.com, your odds on favorite. Let's go. What sports book should we use? Let's go with BetMGM. Astros are plus 140 to win the World Series. Padres are plus 325 to win the World Series. Phillies are plus 375 to win the World Series. Guardians plus 750 to win the World Series. And the Yankees plus 900 to win the World Series. The Astros are your odds on favorite. Guys like that, Jordan Alvarez probably helps. Do all cards ship in this break? I keep forgetting. Yes, all cards ship in this jumbo break. So Gilo, I don't know. Check your local, uh, check your local sports book. You know, maybe a little bit of uh, a little bit of lunch money on on the uh, Cleveland Guardians. Might not be a bad little investment. Maybe get that in before they actually advance, because that might change the odds by tomorrow. And there's Jake McCarthy, Aqua Wave Autograph. Another Diamondback for Jason W. Forty-two out of one ninety-nine. Gilo, are you in a FanDuel area, DraftKings area, or both? I don't know what what your state offers. Or is it just inside a casino and like BetMGM provides the odds and all the services? Or is it everybody? We got New Darvish, 188 to 299, purple speckle. There's Mike Bowman. Orioles, that'll be for Brad. Oh, you got FanDuel, DK, Barstool, the whole shebang. Oh, okay. So you can shop around for different lines as well. It's Brad with the O's. Darvish for the Padres. Russell with the Friars. Congrats to them. They took care of business against my Dodgers. All right, you just got to go to Kansas to do it, but that's just 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 a cross, hop, skip, and a jump, right? Here. Hop, skip, and a jump. No online sports gambling in Oklahoma, says Terry. Do you have to go to a casino, or is is single game wagering not available? Another Jesse Winker for the Red Legs, Mark, and the Reds. Refractor autograph this time. 40 out of 499. 40. I'm a man. I'm 40. There's Ryan Zimmerman. Gold. 35 out of 50. TJ. With, uh, I guess, I guess Mr. National. Would you consider him Mr. National? Mr. Nat. Uh, no sports books that you know of. Good matter of time, matter of time. There's Chris Taylor. Purple speckle autograph. A little rough, rough playoff for him. Um, Jorge with the Dodgers. 
230 out of 299. We got Ronald Acuna Jr. for the Braves, 364 out of 399. And Zach Short is your fifth autograph, right? One, two, three, four, five. Detroit goes to Harry and the Tigers. Got the Tigers in the filler. This goes to Jeremy and the Braves. Braves also, like my Dodgers, have a lot of a lot of things to think about in the off season. Dansby Swanson, a free agent. Where does he go? I think the Braves will re-sign him, right? Oh, he just got dice games in local casinos a couple years ago. Craps games were played with cards before that. I have seen that variation. Yeah, Drilo saying Guardian pitchers still have that young guy grit, so they got something to prove. Yeah. I think maybe Dodgers could use a little bit of that grit. They've got some young pitchers coming up the ranks. Maybe uh, maybe give Bobby Miller some, some starts next year. No, I don't. I don't think the Dodgers will keep will keep Joey Gallo. I think they're hoping that um, that Edwin Rios, if he could, I mean, health has been an issue for him, but I think they're hoping that Edwin Rios could fill that that role. If not, you know, if not, uh, you know, become an everyday guy. Yeah, bring back Gassiel. I wish that guy would have worked out. That, that Puig energy would be awesome. Jock Peterson, maybe? Get Jock Peterson back. There's Juan Yepes for the Cardinals. That'll be for Ryan and the Redbirds. Yeah, prime. Uh, what, yeah, I know it was a little bit, a little short, but prime Puig, you know, was uh, was a lot of fun to watch. Every time he'd come up to bat, I remember being at the stadium for a number of his games, and you know, no one, no one's getting up to to get a drink or anything like that, you know. All right, so we got another Zach Short autograph for Harry and the Tigers. We got a O'Neill Cruz Hyper Parallel. Those are fun. That goes to Pittsburgh, Michael. And we got the Crone Zone, Jay Cronenworth. Russell with the Padres. He played well against my Dodgers, too.
And we got a blue TJ Friedel for Mark and the Red Legs. Blue chrome autograph. 128 out of 150. You're talking about Anthony Rizzo, Terry? I don't know where Anthony Rizzo would play. I'd rather have Freddie Freeman over Anthony Rizzo. 137 out of 250, yachty. Huh. That's random. You saw Puig and Adrian Gonzalez at a taco joint in San Diego. Gonzalez was the nicest dude. Yeah, he's uh, he does some, uh, some broadcasting work for the Dodgers network out here. He'll, he'll do some studio analyst work. I think he's a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice, pretty nice dude. Well liked. Yeah, was it Albertos or Robertos or El Cotijan? <laughs> I love all the all the local chain taco places in San Diego. Ooh, and an insert autograph here. J. D. Martinez. That's for Bill and the Red Sox. Nice. 21 out of 25. Club Plaques Autograph Card. Nice. Got Neulay Jimenez. And behind Mike Trout is a Spencer Watkins. It's going to go to Brad and the Orioles. One eighty three out of two fifty. How about that inside the park home run by JT Real Muto? That's pretty wild. I knew JT Real Muto, especially for a catcher, has a uh, is pretty fast, but I didn't realize he was was that fast. Logan, what's up? Packers stinks is our Packers fan, Logan. Yeah, rough day at the office for the Green Bay Packers. Right? Real Muto, best catcher in the league, says Terry. I mean, he's... he's I mean, yeah. I mean, he's got to be up there, right? Definitely in top five. Definitely top five. Definitely, I mean, who's who's better? Who has a better combination of 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 uh, defense, can call a good game, and could and can hit with uh, Dodgers? Will Smith being a distant second. A near distant second? Near near distant? Mariners catcher Cal Raleigh could maybe start making a name for himself. Yeah, I, I guess it's one of those 
one of those Gilo. Uh, yeah, Salvador's up there. Even though he's getting, I guess it's like a best catchers right now. I'm sure we'll see all of that in the off season stuff where MLB Network does all of the. Not not the best catcher in five years. Not the best catcher ever right now, active right now, but just the best catcher right right now. Is always the qualifier. I still think Salvador Perez gets up there. He's got to be a top five catcher right now, even even with his age. I'm seeing so many names here, I can't really think of any other players. <laughs> it's like these other players' names are getting in my head. There's Luke Williams. Use the force, Luke. That goes to Ryan and the Phillies. Yeah, Contreras has got to be up there, too. Don't get Rex started on Wilson Contreras. Yeah, Rex and I were talking the other night. Rex gave Wilson Contreras a $35 million a year contract. There's Nick Casanos, 249 out of 399 for the Reds. Go to Mark. Wander Franco for the Rays. There's Connor Siebold. It goes to Boston. That'll be for Bill. I love those autographed baseballs, uh, Terry. I would love to do some more of those. Or Tyler. I'd love to do more of those. Here's JT Real Muto. We're just talking about you. Yeah, pretty solid. Frank Robinson auto. Frank Robinson, I think, is the only dude that has an MVP in the AL and the NL. There's a Mackenzie Gore. Padres, refractor autograph for Russell. He's the only one, right? He's the only one, says Tyler. Yeah, there you go. 240 out of Is there anyone else who, who has a chance to do that right now? I suppose Pujols had a chance during his Angels years. Um, I'm trying to think of guys that have won MVPs in one league and, and are now in a different league. Betts, maybe? Mook, I could see Mookie Betts knocking out an MVP. He won one with Boston. I could see him winning one with the Dodgers. Thanks, Logan. Appreciate appreciate that. Yeah, it's been, uh, been pretty, uh, pretty sad times for Joe. But today is better than yesterday. And I'm sure tomorrow will be better than today. There's Ryan Jeffers. Jason with the Twins.
out of Kyle Muller. 99 out of 350. For the Braves, it'll be for Jeremy. And we got a Joey Wendell, Blue Lava. On card autograph for Steven and uh, Steven C and the Marlins. Yeah, I think those autograph baseballs are a pretty cool, pretty cool product. And it's fanatics too, so it's at like you know at a different at a higher quality level than some of the other autograph baseballs that we've seen. All right, final box coming up, and then the silver packs. We did do some wild card baseball polls. There's just a lot of a lot of games, but now that I think we're getting to the CSs, Gilo, we'll probably see some more baseball polls. I might do a series poll, like who wins who wins the series. Baseball poll. Maybe I'll do daily games. For the World Series, I'm sure I'll do do daily polls on on each World Series game. Logan, you got the Padres beating the, the Phillies? But we have done baseball polls before. I think wild card games. I did baseball polls for wild card games. You You're welcome. A little toasty in here. I have to fire up the AC. These studio lights, we don't have a lot of air circulation in front of this one. There's a window we could throw open. Ah, that's right. Logan, Logan's a Padres guy. All right. Final box of Topps Chrome Jumbo. Thanks everyone for making this happen, I appreciate it. Uh, if you missed out on your team in Jumbo, I did load up another case about an hour ago, so check it out. Yeah, NFC East, hey, yeah, NFC East does, does get a lot of national games. All right, Oliver Ortega, Angels. That's going to go to Mike, the Halos. The final results of the Sunday Night Football poll, 53.3% have the Eagles minus 6.5. So a lot of people thinking that uh, it's going to be a little bit closer than the, than the line suggests. There's Zach Pop, 84 out of 299. Whatever it's worth, I'm, I'm on the uh, Eagles minus six and a half, laying the sort of bigger number against a division rival. At some point, at some point, Cooper Rush has to be found out, right? <laughs> is what I'm thinking. It hasn't happened yet, but I feel like Cooper Rush has narrowly avoided like multiple turnover games and. Those have actually worked out for him, but another Zach Pop. For the another one for the Marlins. This time Aqua Wave Parallel, Stephen Carney with that. But Philadelphia has a pretty good defense. 158 out of 199. 
out. Russell Wilson getting a lot too. Who wins Yankees or Guardians? Well, I don't know. I think the guard, if they could get Garrett Cole out of this game here, they could get to the Yankees' bullpen. I think the Guardians will have a chance. They're only a run down. Logan, you're leaning Yankees. Uh, maybe I'm leaning Guardians because because uh, I was I was born in um, Ohio. So Andre Jackson, Youngstown, Warren, actually the next city over. I think more people are familiar with Youngstown though. It's so Andre Jackson. Rookie auto for the Dodgers, Jorge, with that. I'm assuming if my folks had stayed there, that um, I don't know if anyone from Northeast Ohio is listening, but I'm assuming I would have been a, a Cleveland sports fan. But I, Pittsburgh's pretty close. No, I don't. I don't. I don't think uh, Cleveland sports was the reason for my parents moving to Southern California. There's Jordan Alvarez, twenty-five out of twenty-five. Future star. I mean, he's star right now. Goes to the Astros. Joe Christian is Gabriel Arias. Speaking of Cleveland, that's going to go to Ryan Lind. Cleveland, this is for you. Rex thinking that'd be be kind of funny if the uh, first year new name. Um, that they if Cleveland could have a chance to win a World Series would that end their dry? It does end their dry spell. It doesn't start over with a new name. They still retain all the records and stuff and all the history of Cleveland. It's not like they moved or it was an expansion team or something like that. Is that a plate? Oh, that's a plate. Is that an autographed plate? It is. Woo! That's Riley Adams for the Nationals. TJ with the on plate auto. And a train whistle. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle, TJ. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. And there you go, gang. Nice way to end the break with a little train whistle. Love it. Now, before I start the the recap, let's see what short prints we can get out of here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If any. If any. Hopefully we'll see one. It's that one of one can mojo back there, TJ. You mentioned that before the break. And that spooky Halloween spirit happening there. Uh, that's right. Yeah, my parents foresaw LeBron going to the Lakers to go. So the shore prints that we're looking for is only Bobby Witt Jr., Spencer Torkelson, Julio Rodriguez, maybe a couple others, C.J. Abrams maybe. But I don't think I've seen any of those guys here. No. 
That's all right. We'll get them next time for the short print for the short print teams. All right, recap. Good luck, every or congrats, everybody who hid. The good lucks were already already given out earlier in this break. Appreciate everybody getting in. We've got another jumbo case in the store, and we've got a dual hobby uh, case in the store. Double header. If you want to get into that, all of that's on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Yeah, those solar packs, very rare, but you do have a chance. We have seen some autographs being pulled here and there. So another chance there. There you go, gang. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.